Welcome back to this View plus Beautify plus Firebase series. Thus far we added our carousel and a couple of links to our application. Now I want to ensure that if we click on View Meetups or Explore Meetups, we actually see a list of meetups and that if we click on a card, we actually see more information about a single meetup. So let's implement these functionalities in this video. To get started with that, to add the view meetups page, I'll go back to my project and I actually already have a meetups component there, which is just, just displaying the meetups page. That obviously is not the code I want to use. So I'll go, I'm going to get rid of that and instead I'll add a vcontainer to use the beautify grid I talked about in an earlier video in this series. Now in there, I'll add a vlayout, which should be the row and wrap any elements. And in there, I'll add vflex and I want these elements to span the full width on all device sizes. So that's my setup. Now when I use an element from the beautify package, which is called card. If you go to components, cards, you might recognize these components. You see them on a lot of web pages because using these cards is pretty well popular these days. And I want to use such a card to display an individual element. I want to create a horizontal card though, to have the image of the meetup on the left and then the title and the date and then an action, so a link, which takes us to the actual meetup. So let's try to build that. You can as always inspect the code of such a card. And there you will see that with a vcard wrapping element, and in there we can use a vcard title, vcard actions, but we can also use the container layout and flex elements inside a card. So we can use the grid inside a card to really structure the card to look the way we want it to look. And that's exactly what I will do here. So for that, I'll go back to my application. First of all, add the vcard and give it a nice styling. So I'll add a class and now we could use the, the primary style. I'll use the info style for now. If we save this and go back to our application under view meetups, we don't see anything though because it has no content. So let's add some content to this card. For that, I'll add my V container. And here I'm going to add the fluid property to make this grid span the full available width. So the full width of the card. Now in there, I'll now add my V layout. Should be a row I want to create here. And in there, I want to have a V flex element. And I first of all, want to have the image and I want that to be only one of two elements. So here I'll use X as let's say five on very small devices. In here, I can now add my, let's have a look, the official documentation. I can now add my V card media element here. We can actually copy that. That allows us to enter, well, a media object like an image. Here with the source, I'm going to grab the source from my carousel, the first image maybe. Of course, later we're going to replace this with our own image. So let's enter that here. Can then specify a height. And the contain property here defines how the image is displayed. With contain, the original image is contained. And if it would be, well, it if it would not fit into the container you give it, it would actually just not use the whole container. Can show that to you if we save this and go back to the application. Here you see the image is now looking a bit strange because it's not really using the full width I'm giving it. What we can do is we can simply remove contain. That's just the default. We don't have to use it. And now this actually takes the full container at the price of not displaying the original image, but just a part of the image. I still believe that looks nicer. Of course, we can now also fine tune this and say, okay, use maybe five columns on very small devices so that on mobile phones, it looks like that. And now you see that the image is really not displaying the full image as it does on bigger devices, but that's just the price. However, maybe that is the display we want on very small devices, but on bigger devices, we maybe don't want to use as much space. So here we could then say, well, on small devices only use four and on medium sized and above devices only use three like that. And now that would shrink it. That's one part. I also want to add a title. So I'll add another VFlex element. And here I want to reuse the remaining space. So XS7, keep in mind, we have a 12 column grid available. SM8 and MD9. And in here, I now want to display information about the event. 
And for that, we can see that we got another nice element we can use. That actually is the, should be here above, vcard title element. So we can copy that, add it here. Primary title defines how it is styled from a padding perspective. And well, they don't really need the headline class here. I could now say my meetup again, this will be replaced with our text later. And it might take place on, let's say, 7th July 2017. If we save this and we go back to the application, this is how it looks like, not super pretty. We can change or adjust the styling by changing this div to maybe a h3 tag so that we actually have like a real heading, uh, maybe not h3, but h5. And I also, of course, don't want to sit that in one row and I want to change um, the, the styling of that all. So maybe we assign a different text color to my meetup here. We can add a class and there white would be nice. However, white like that, just adding the white CSS class changes the background to white. Now, if I don't want to change the background to white, but I actually want to change the text, we simply append dash dash text. And that works for any um, color property, also for primary accent and so on, you use in Beautify. If you want to change the text and not the background, add dash dash text. And now we have a white text. Still, I don't want that to sit in the same row as title. That happens because we have both elements directly inside the vcard title and that doesn't care about if it's a block element or not. So all we have to do is add a div in there and put our two elements inside the div and we're back to the normal HTML behavior where this will actually take two lines. So now this looks much nicer. We actually have it set in a new line. And if we want, we can even add MB0 to this um, H5 tag using a feature of Vue.js regarding the under layout, regarding the spacing, where we change the padding and the, uh, excuse me, where we change the margin uh, of the bottom, margin to the bottom of our title and set it to zero. Now this looks nicer in my opinion. Now what's missing here? Actions. And for that we got another element we can use in a vCard below the vCard title, still in the same vflex element because I still want that to sit on the right of the image. And here I can add vCard actions now. Now inside vCard actions, I can simply start adding buttons. So a vButton where I, for example, say, view meter. We now save this. You see, this is our button. What we can do though, is we can turn this into a flat link and add another icon. So in front of view meetup, I'll add a V icon component. And here I want to use the arrow forward icon, which is a material design icon. And this arrow forward icon should be placed on the left. So it should be aware that there is actually that it is inside a button or that there is text next to it next to it and I'll give it a light style and now we actually have this nice view meetup um call to action or well link basically in our card which looks much nicer in my opinion now overall the card looks fine on mobile devices I guess we could still fine tune it though maybe we don't want to have as broad of a card on uh, on bigger devices. Well, we can easily adjust this by going back to our wrapping container. And here, access 12 might be fine. Maybe we only want SM10 though, and MD8. And then we can also add the appropriate offsets to make sure that these are nicely centered. We can learn about that again under layout. Here, if we have a look at the, um, at the grid, you can see that you can also define offsets with the offset and then how much you want to offset it by. So here we could then say, okay, for small devices where we don't take the full width, actually offset it by one. So half the remaining space to have it nicely centered and offset it by two for medium sized devices. And now we would have a card like this, which is maybe more like the style you want to use. So that's just one possible way of course, feel free to adjust the card. Maybe you don't want to use that blue background. Maybe you want to have a different style. I'll go with that style here. Now again, I want to make sure that we also can view a single meetup. 
for that I'll first of all hook up this link, but then we need a new component. So let's start with the link here on our button. I'll actually add the two property and there we have a look at our routing. There I want to go to a single meetup where we don't have a route yet. So let's add this route next. For that, here I'll add a new route in my router setup. Path should be just slash meetups. And then actually the ID and that should go after meetups new. Otherwise the new here will be interpreted as an ID. So here I'll then maybe give this a name of meetup and a component of meetup which doesn't exist yet. I'll already imp add the import though because I'm going to create that component in a second. I'll store it under the meetup folder and here it's going to be called meetup. And again, I need to add that now. So here let's add a new file in the meetup folder under components, which is meetup.view. In there, I now want to display, well, a single meetup. For that, inside that component, I'll again add a template. Inside the templ a template of the container with a V layout, again, using the grid Beautify gives us. Want to have a, a row here, wrapping. And inside of the flex element, which should take the full width on all device sizes. Now inside here, that is where it's going to get interesting. How should this actually look like? How do I actually want to display my individual elements? And here I want to use a V card again. So just for, for a nice look, actually, it's only one element. Still, I want to use a card to display the individual meetup. And in this card, I want to have a title, then I want to have text, and I want to have, um, well, basically my, my actions like register for that and so on. So first of all, let's add vcard title, and I'm not using the grid right now. Inside a vcard title, I'll now add my, well, my, my title basically, and that could be my meetup. Let's see how that looks like. If we now go to view meetup, excuse me, load any meetup, we haven't hooked up that. That is how it's going to look like. Not super impressive right now, but we're going to work on that. So first of all, let's work on that by wrapping this into a H4 tag again, maybe, my meetup, like that. Mm, very big, maybe H6, that looks better. And let's give it a class of, let's say, the primary color, like that. Oh, good mistake, primary text, of course. So like this, now we have a red title. Now below the vcard title, I want to have my vcard text or actually vcard media. So I have my image there, just as we added it in the list, but now not on the left of the media, but prominently in the middle. Still the usage is the same. So I'm going to copy the vcard media element from my meetups.view file and add it here, replace the one I just added. This would be the image spanning nicely the full width since I don't have contain set up, but of course not really big because of that height constraint here. Well, maybe we set that to 400 pixels. That looks much nicer in my opinion. Now with that, I also want to add, of course, the description. So the V card text below the image. Here we could add some dummy text describing the meetup. And maybe we want to be a bit more elaborate than that. We first of all want to have a div where we say 7th July 2017 and maybe also the place where it takes place. And then we have another div with our, whoops, with our dummy text below that. That could be one potential setup. And to highlight this a bit more here, why don't we actually give it a class of info dash dash text to have a blue text here. That could be how it looks like for now. Again, all the content is soon going to get in there dynamically instead of hard coded right now. Let's go back to the card though and let's add a vcard actions category now. Here I now want to have a register link basically. So what I'll add here is 
a V button where I simply say register for now. Later, of course, we'll change this depending on whether the user is already registered or not. And I'll give this a, a class of primary. Now, if we go back, we see that button here at the bottom looking nice. I want to have that button sit on the right though. So moved all the way to the right over there. And conveniently, we can do this by adding vSpacer in front of the button. This is this dummy element which allows us to nicely, well, push things to one side uh, and occupy all the space with it. So now the button sits on the right here. Now we got the register button there, which looks nice in my opinion. So that could be the individual meetup. Now before we move on, let's make sure that we can actually reach it by clicking on our item here in the carousel or clicking on view meetup here in our list of meetups. So to do that, I'll actually use the newly created route in meetups, for example, here on that button. I want to go to meetups and then one for now. Again, this will of course be dynamic in the future. And now in the home components on the carousel, here we already got an ID for each meetup stored, dummy ID for now. I'll use that ID though. So here I will actually then go to the, um, to the individual card and I want to go to that meetup when I click on this, um, well, on this carousel item here actually. So here, what I'll do is I'll add a click listener. So add click on load meetup like that, whoops, without parentheses. And then down there in the script, we won't just have data, we'll also have some methods, well, one method to be precise, on load meetup, the one I just set up there. And when that gets fired, I actually want to load the meetup, for that I need to know which one was selected. So I'll reintroduce the parentheses and pass meetup ID, referring to the meetup I'm currently looping through. So this object here. So I'm looping through all the meetups and then for each meetup, I'm registering a different click listener where I pass the ID basically of that meetup of that exact element. So here I know that I get the meetup ID. I can then simply use dollar sign router to reach out to the global view router, which gets injected by view automatically, call the push method and push to slash meetups slash plus the ID I'm getting here. And for styling, we should add uh, empty space there and remove the semicolon. With that, if we save this and we go back to the application and load that, if I click on view meetup, that works. If I go to dev meetup and click on the carousel, that also works. And now to fine tune this, we might go back to the carousel here and actually also give it a nice styling, add style cursor pointer, just to make sure that we actually get this hand symbol if we hover over it to really indicate we may click it. Notice we can still navigate around here. That doesn't fire our click listener. Just if you click on the image, we go to the individual meetup. So that is now how that looks like. Of course, feel free to fine tune this to your needs. Now I'm going to move on in the series. And I think a nice next step is to actually introduce Vuex and make sure that we're still working with dummy data, but not hard coded into the individual components, but that we start building up a real application where we manage our state centrally.